First, Icy Tower is a free and awesome game that I used to play as a kid with my brothers. It was first published in 2001 by the Swedish developers of Free Lunch Design. I'm not even sure if many people even know this game still, but I guess it was most popular in Europe and predominantly played by people born in the 90s. You play as Harold the Homeboy and try to get up an icy tower as high up as possible while not being caught up by the screen, which is getting faster every 30 seconds. You gain points by jumping on higher platforms and extra for combos. The core mechanic of the game is that higher jumps are possible with higher horizontal momentum, thereby creating an incentive not only to maintain vertical but also horizontal velocity. And this is my Pi game version of the game. But before 500 individuals could jump up the icy tower, I didn't even have a single player mode of the game. No tiles, no walls. No background, nothing. So I started out with a blank script, simply imported some modules, and the game was done. Easy. Well, not quite, because I had never made a game before, I had to start with the basics, and with the help of one or two tutorials, I got the basic 2D movement and collision system working first. As a next step, I tried to get the environment working, meaning random tile generation, an advancing screen and the walls. Next, I tried to get the physics of the game kind of right. And that included getting horizontal and vertical velocities correct, the jumping, the bouncing off walls and gravity as close to the original game as possible for me. Then I tried to make my game at least a bit more aesthetically pleasing to look at, although this version is still quite blank. And lastly, after some final touches, this was the version I was confident with to work on for the implementation of the AI. But before I come to that, I briefly want to talk about reinforcement learning and the NEAT algorithm. So first of all, I want you to take Harold's perspective. What is he actually seeing? I know this guy's eyes are covered by his head, but he still sees quite a lot. So that is his current X and Y position, the horizontal and vertical velocity, X, Y and width of 11 surrounding tiles, and whether he is currently on a floor or not. So during each individual frame of the game, Harold is being fed 38 inputs in total. This information is being processed by the individual's respective neural network and depending on the nodes' weights and biases, a decision is being made which action to perform next. To jump, to go right or to go left. But how is the AI supposed to get better at this game? Well, that is where NEAT comes into play, a popular genetic algorithm for evolving neural network topologies from the domain of reinforcement learning. And because reinforcement learning is a form of machine learning that is unsupervised, so we don't have a huge data set from which the AI can learn beforehand, so a reward system is being implemented. And when an individual is doing a good action, it is getting a reward. Via genome reproduction, this individual's node configuration will prevail. At some point, the initial population will be supplemented by a different subpopulation. And if this species is doing well, then again it will reproduce and more individuals of this species will be present in the entire population. Together with other new species, it might nearly drive the initial species to extinction. Through a continuous process of fitness evaluation, reproduction, mutation and speciation, eventually one generation might bring forth an individual that is so successful yet so efficient at solving the given task that no others can be better at it anymore. Okay, so far the theory, let's start coding the AI. Some modules, some lines of code and done. One last glance at my neat configuration file, all clear. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, that's not it. And back to the drawing board, I guess. Okay, that seems to be working fine. What else is there to do? Just adding some explosions for fun, another completely unnecessary addition that is only going to overwhelm my laptop. 
Okay, I really could sit there and watch my AI train for hours straight, but at some point I added a way to speed up the simulation to everything that my laptop could handle. And with that done, I am unleashing 500 heralds out into the world. All individuals are jumping randomly, not knowing what on earth is going on around them. But suddenly one individual stands out in doing something out of the box and gaining horizontal momentum before jumping, thereby gaining extra height. And this elevates it out of the exploding mass below and onto a higher grounds. In the next generation, many individuals are interpreting this gain in knowledge in different ways, leading to new variations of new behavior. Not gonna lie, there is room for improvement. Fast forward to generation 3 and to my surprise it seems like some individuals are actually aiming for platforms getting past platform 100 already. By generation 5 in at least two individuals a new strategy has emerged. I'll call it the wall bounce I guess. Fast forward to generation 10, this seems to be the strategy that more and more individuals are latching onto. By generation 11, some individuals have distanced themselves so far from the original gene pool that two new species are introduced. Let's see how well they are doing. And it does seem like at least one individual is doing pretty well. It has learned the bounce strategy, but does not follow it blindly. Here it is actively steering somewhere and adapting its horizontal velocity to reach a platform. By generation 20, different species have gained a foothold and almost driven the initial one to extinction. The best fitness has climbed to almost 6000 at this point, meaning that at least one individual has come close to platform 600 before the faster getting screen caught it. Okay, we're starting to see that at generation 15 a local maximum has potentially been reached as the best fitness is stagnating. I'm gonna let the simulation run for a bit and see what's gonna happen. In generation 47, one individual almost makes it to platform 700. By generation 50, most genomes have adapted to the successful bounce strategy, which becomes apparent in this flocking behavior of the population. And yet again one very close attempt to reach platform 700 will get there. Okay, maybe by pure chance or because more individuals know the bounce strategy, the best value is increasing again. And for the next 25 generations, nothing too exciting is happening until... Platform 700, finally. 800, still going, good. Okay, platform 870. At this point, I'm very happy to stop this simulation because it's far better than everything that I managed to do in my own game. So I think the job is done. So while I'm super happy with the result and everything, 
I was hoping that even more complex behavior would emerge at some point actually. Here you can see some of the most successful neural network architectures from different generations and they show that there definitely was complex behavior involved and that the individuals weren't just spamming the jump button. Yet whenever a certain level of complexity was surpassed by individuals, they proved to be less successful. Of course, it could be that running the simulation for a few days would eventually bring forth both complex species mastering the game even better, but I'm skeptical of this. This is my assumption and I could be wrong, but I guess the population has settled on a local maximum and species venturing out trying new strategies would go extinct before they could reach a new maximum. In my created environment, I guess they did not receive the necessary reward along the way in order for the new strat to gain a foothold. This might have different reasons. For one, although I tried many different things, there could be a better, more fitting fitness evaluation leading to better results. Secondly, the here created environment might be too complex due to the randomness of tiles and the player position. And third, although I have tried having recurrent connections and it led to worse results, they might be one solution to better solve the problem. 